Let's crochet. I know so. Axolotl. You're going to need two colors of yarn, a 4.25 crochet hook, and some scissors. The yarn needle is just for the face. This is a no sew axolotl. Let's get started. We begin with a chain two that replaces the magic ring that most patterns start with. The first round is six single crochets worked into the first chain that we created. All of my patterns worked in the round do join and chain at the end of each round. I find it easier to keep all of my pieces aligned if I don't work in a continuous spiral. The next round is two single crochet in each stitch. This is also called an increase, but I prefer to write it as two single crochet in each stitch. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 12 single crochet, and we are going to join and chain up. The next round is going to be a single crochet, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around until you get back to the beginning. The next three rounds are going to be all single crochet. Work a single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around, remembering to join and chain up at the end of each round. The next round starts our decreases and it's going to be a single crochet and then two together and you repeat that pattern all the way around. tried to give you guys a close-up of what that two together looks like so you can tell if you're doing your stitch right. You can see how that's brought in the bottom of the head of our little axolotl and we can go ahead and start to stuff it. Make sure you fill the head of the axolotl as much as you want it to be. After the next round of stitches, we will not be able to stuff any more stuffing into its head. This round of two together will effectively close the head piece of the axolotl, but we are not going to tie off or finish at the end of this row because we are going to start the body segment right on the next row without cutting or sewing these pieces together. And there you have the head of your axolotl. And we are just going to go ahead and start the body segment using those last six stitches. 
it can be a little tricky to find where these stitches go, so just take your time. Now that you're back to 12 stitches, our next row is one single crochet with two single crochet in the next stitch. And you repeat that pattern all the way around. The next round is where the little axolotl gets his feet. You chain three and then we're going to do what I've always heard is a bobble stitch. The first time I seen it used as a foot though was over on Skeen Spider's YouTube channel. To make the bobble you're going to double crochet five times in the same stitch. Then remove your hook completely and count backwards the five stitches that you've just done. Reinsert your hook and grab the loop from the last double crochet and pull it through like a slip stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch and all the way around until you have just two stitches remaining. Then we're going to do another bobble stitch which again is five double crochet into that second to last stitch. Remove your hook, count backwards the five stitches, insert your hook, and grab that last loop like a slip stitch, chain, and single crochet into the next one. That ends this round, so of course join and chain up. Here's what our little guy's looking like with his front two feet. And for the next two rounds, we are going to single crochet. We're back and he has his little belly. We're going to make his back feet by repeating the same round that we did for his front feet. Work three single crochet and then start the bobble for his back foot in that fourth stitch.
then you're going to single crochet all the way around until you reach the other side with just two stitches remaining and we're going to do his last little bobble foot Now we're going to do one round of single crochet to start his tail. At the end of that round, this is what he's looking like. He's got all four of his feet and ready for his tail. The bobble stitch as a foot is really genius. And that again came from Skeen Spider. This round is one single crochet and then two stitches together. And that's going to start making his tail a little smaller. At the end of this round, we are going to stuff the body portion. Make sure that you get stuffing into all of the little crevices because once we start to close up the tail, it's going to be just about impossible to put any more stuffing towards the front feet or even the back feet. The feet are just stitches and can't be stuffed themselves, but the body around them should be pretty firm. Give your axolotl lots of little squishes in all of the spots and redistribute the fluff if you need to. I needed to get it a little more around the neck so I used my scissors to just kind of move just the fluff near his neck. Now we can get back to making his tail. Reinsert your hook and our next round is a round of single crochet. The next round is going to be one single crochet and then two together. And switching back and forth between the decreases and giving it a row of single crochet helps make the tail look more like a cone and less like just a ball. This will be our last round of single crochet.
before we do our final row, we're going to do our stuffing of the tail. It really just needs a little bit. Of course, I can't get my fingers in there, so I'm going to use my scissors. The last round before we add the fins is going to be two together all the way around. Now that the tail is complete, this is what our axolotl looks like. All that's left is the finish off, and you do that by a slip stitch, a chain, pull the chain, and then cut the loop. We'll pull one end out and grab the other end from the inside with your hook and pull it in to hide it. Okay, time to do the tail fin. We begin by joining into one of the stitches just behind the bottom leg. I've heard this next stitch called a fan stitch or a shell stitch. What we'll be doing is five double crochet about a space away. And we're going to make sure that we do all of our double crochets from that same side. We put our hook in on that same side every time we do a double crochet and that's going to keep our fins from twisting as we work our stitch. So to end this fin and start the one that wraps around the tail, we're going to slip stitch into the space right before the tip of the tail. And that makes our one little fan shell stitch to start the next one. We are going to put our hook through the very tip of the tail so that this fin spans from one side around the tip and over to the other. So we are going to put five double crochet, making sure we go in from the same way we did the very first time. To make our next shell stitch. We are going to work all five of those stitches into the tip of the tail. And then we are going to find the space right on the other side of the tail and make sure that it's right close to the tip but we still have enough room between there and the back leg to make our last fin. You may have to adjust your fin stitches just a little bit but they do really want to lay where they're supposed to be. And it's on to our last tail fin which is just another five double crochet worked into a one space. All of them from the same side so that they don't twist. And then we will 
slip stitch right behind that last foot. Finish off the tail, remove the working yarn, and adjust the tail fins to where he's all straightened out. Then we can begin the face fins. To start the fins, we're going to join just at the lower part of the edge of where you want the face to be, still keeping it behind that front foot. You're going to chain four and then work back towards the face with a slip stitch, a single crochet, and a half double crochet. This next bit can be a little fiddly to get just right, but we're going to secure the gill to the face by turning and working in from the other side with a slip stitch. And that's just pulling the yarn from one side to the other, pulling it tight, and then giving it a chain and pulling that tight so we can finish off. So then I went to tuck my tails with my hook off camera. When I got back, I was almost completely out of frame trying to show you that the gill is indeed secure and where to put the next gill. And I am so sorry that this part is just completely useless. I do get back into frame when I start the chain four. So if you need to see how to join it onto the face, Maybe go back and watch the first gill. If not, the chain four pattern on the return is a slip stitch, a single crochet, and then a half double crochet. And then we're going to secure it with a slip stitch, which I find easiest to do by turning the whole axolotl around, going in from the other side and doing the slip stitch and finishing off. I finish off this gill and then show you where to place all the others. And had I known that I was out of frame with that one, I would have shown you at least one more. I do the rest of the gills off camera and come back adjusting the fins so that we can start the face. This is the only time that I use the yarn needle in this project. And if you don't want to use a yarn needle, you could always cut out little circles of felt and glue them on. I do normally tie the two ends of the eyeballs together. I have no idea why I didn't do it this time. A little more adjusting to get everything just right. And there we go, a no-sew axolotl. If you made it all the way through the video, thank you so much for watching. Come back next time for something new.